Hi everyone, welcome to Prissy Stress Kitchen. I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, I want to thank you and please don't go. Make sure you subscribe before you go, okay? So Prissy Stress lovers, today we are making contumery soup or spinach soup. So today, actually I'm not doing that much. It's just a simple soup that I'm making today. So these are the ingredients I'm going to use for uh, spinach soup. I have peanut butter here. I have tomato paste. I have ginger, garlic, one onion, two fresh tomatoes. And I have my aridan or perkese. I've already um, washed and um, I, I baked a little bit in the oven just to bring the flavor out of it. So that's the one I have here. And I have my chicken. I grilled so it's quite hard. You know? When you do it this way, it tastes like um, bush meat. Mm, so I have to use it this way. And I have the spinach and some scotch bonnet in the saucepan. I have um, dry shrimp. That's the one I have here. I have mackerel and I have my catfish. Smoke catfish or oh, again, that's the one I have there. Now I'll start by boiling my spinach and scratch bonnet together. And I'm gonna add the chicken and add some water and then add my shrimps to it as well. Now I've diced the onion, I cut into two, so I'll be using half of it on the chicken while um, I blend the other half as well and then I'm gonna add to it later on so at this point I will just add a little bit of salt to taste I will just cover now I will just let it steam for about five minutes and then I'll just come back and add my blended ginger garlic and onion to it and I'll cover and let it steam again for about another five minutes and this time around I will add my tomato paste to it as well yes I'm gonna add to it after stirring Normally, I use teki berry, kwen susua, or wabidru um, in my soup, but I went to the stores and I couldn't get it. That's why I'm using thin tomatoes so that I can get that sweet taste of the of teki berry in it. I know the tomato tastes different, but it's gonna give it a little bit sweet, this sweet flavor, you know, or sweet taste in it. So that's why I added tomato paste to it. You you don't necessarily have to add tomato paste, you know. If you like, you can you can just leave that out. So now I'm gonna leave it again and um, just for it to steam for about five to ten minutes, and then I'll add my fricasse to it and my fresh tomatoes now I'm gonna get my uh, spinach from the stove and I will start by blending and I'm gonna blend together with the peanut butter and then I add it to it mm -hmm. the soup is almost done we are quarter away done you know and I'm gonna rinse the blender and add to it as well. Now you give it a good stir. Just make sure you stir everything mix very nice and you just leave it. I tried the chicken, I just wanted to be sure if um, it's soft 
oh it's so hard so if it's soft then i will take them out and then i will add to the soup later on when the soup is almost done then i will add to the soup but it was hard so i just left it there now i'm adding all my fish to it the mackerel and smoked fish uh, the smoked catfish i drain yeah I added to it I left three of the smoke cutfish um, over there because that one, uh, that one is too um, soft so I will add to it later on I added a, um, a little bit of salt to it again because the salt wasn't enough and then you give it another stay again so after stirring you just leave it let it boil for about um, 20 minutes but make sure you check on it check on your soup okay so those making coco yam fufu um yam fufu plantain fufu cassava fufu all kinds of fufu when you're ready and when we say and so for my night you say pa and you come on and you're nice the only thing I'm missing here it's my mushroom and the turkey berry the turkey berry does the job the magic but I couldn't get it so I had to do it this way you know yeah so I came back to stay hey please don't just watch me try this recipe and i know you're gonna love it now i added the rest of the catfish to it yes the one i told you it was quite soft so i had to keep it for a while before i add it to the soup now i think my tomatoes is well done the tomatoes is well done whenever you see that it's cracked that means it's done so i'm gonna take it out and then blend and add to the soup so guys we are almost done with the soup we are almost done almost done you see this is a quick one it doesn't take much of the time you know Now I'm going to give it a stir after adding the fresh tomatoes to it. Don't stir it too much. Just make it a little bit. And after stirring, I will just leave it for about 20 minutes on medium heat. And now you see it's almost done and it's coming. Are you ready with your fufu? Is the fufu ready guys? Are you ready? yes look at that it's so perfect it tastes so good guys we've come to the end of the video i hope you love this video and you're gonna give it a try please kindly subscribe if you haven't done yet click on the notification bell to get all the new videos from presentious kitchen as i always say never be ahead of god let god be ahead of you until then i will see you another time stay blessed